Hello everyone. It's the year 1084, a time in Calradia rich with history. Kingdoms come and go, royal bloodlines marry one another for status, that the storied lineage may live on. Heroes and warlords are the scribes writing the books to be passed down through the ages, provided they could even read. However, this one story will not be told from the perspective of royalty or heroism, or from someone who can read, but a simple fellow named Glauben Walderman, whose past is storied only by his parents' wayward gene pool. And by wayward, I really mean not diverse. For us, this journey will not be about conquest, but about the continuation and cleansing of his lineage, about breaking the cycle. You see, his family tree is much less like a tree, and more like a singular cursed branch, a very narrow one-way road out of a horror movie. Now you realize why this bloodline is cursed. In this playthrough, we will be having as many children as humanly possible and seeing if we can fix Globen Walderman's tainted genetic code while we conquest across Calradia and prepare a home for our new, symmetrically gifted children. Uh, we're also playing on Bannerlord difficulty so as to better simulate Glob's hardships socially by being curb stomped constantly. Now that we have come of age, we are going to go out into the world and take a wife. We and our brother, Nozon, who is this monstrosity right here. We have trained our whole lives for this moment. I, I wish I wish you wouldn't look at me like this. In order to take a wife and break the cycle, we need to have strong seed. And the only way to have strong seed is to have strong balls. You see, much like how a spider's web scaled up to our size is as strong as titanium, Globen Walderman and his brother's balls need to be solid as steel. A simple traditional family greeting assures us that Nozon is not an imposter. A big right hook straight to the family jewels. Yes, this man is indeed our brother. Well done, brother. His, <laughs> his smile says more than words. He gives us a job to do. We are to find and rescue our younger siblings, Fodor and Elishka. But this quest will be secondary to getting our man some poontang. After all, Nozon knows better than to make us work like this. We have to get the nookie, brother. We have to get the nookie. Our journey will be long and difficult. We must become more powerful if we are to make our way through these treacherous lands. This means we will have to train not just our sack, but with weapons on our back. I grab the bow. We will need range to overwhelm our enemies. After all, we are but a tender four foot nine. The first thing we do is fire at our brother's balls. His balls are truly magnificent. The arrow dings right off. I hope I have prepared my balls thusly, or our journey is sure to fail. We make quick work of the target practice. We're a natural with the bow. You don't have eyes this big in a head this round without being a proper Hawkeye type Marvel superhero. We are done. We return to brother, boot him in the nuts, but they remain suitably uncracked. He is just delighted to see me. Yes, brother. We are ready, brother. We do some training with the crossbow. Our aim is immaculate. And then we move on to the melee weapons. There was only one lesson father taught us before he passed, and that was to kick nuts during a skirmish. It's foolproof, son, he said. And I agree, but sometimes we like to whack head and also stab nuts. This man is weak and has a weak sack. And the next trainer is weak too. We spank him and his disappointed uncle steps up. Intimidated by a man probably two feet taller than us, we kick him in the nuts preemptively. It works all the time, most of the time. This man is strong where it counts. I, I fear him deeply. Nozon lets us know we are low on food and require a stock up before we leave. So we head to town and ask for directions. A guy lets us know where to find our kidnapped siblings and how to purchase food. Human transactions are a mystery to Glauben Walderman, and this man is looking at us funny. We whack him in the soft bits, but he is far too powerful. We then whack a small child. Our pathetic fist merely glances off. Our brother looks at us, horrified by our behavior. The journey has only just begun, and this is how we behave. But brother, please, I just need to procreate. Please comment, you will procreate one day, honey. You just have to stop hitting little children in the village. Comment this for Nozon. He knows Globen Walderman is totally unhinged. Keep it together, Globen. Keep it together. We purchase our goods and some troops to take our siblings back from the bandits. Hedman Velaus, who is now fearful of us and our traditional family greeting, begs us to handle some bandits. Being the merciful, bull-headed tactician mastermind I am, I agree. Perhaps he has daughters after all. We spot a man who would rather cross the river than cross the bridge. How brave. We lose some arrows on him, but it turns out he is literally the Terminator. 
The battle very quickly turns sour on us. There's something quite terrifying about watching angry villagers chase your men with only the various farming implements. We take down the demigod across the river, and being the galaxy brain we are, we climb a building, but are forced to watch as our troops retreat. Weak sacks, all of them. Old mate slaps his ally in the head with a sword, and we proceed to massacre them. I am the Lord of War, and we don't stop there. I command my troops of valor, the likes of which the world has never seen before. Very impressive. All in the pursuit of female companionship. And a baby to love and cherish. So long as this baby is symmetrically blessed, yes. Yes, symmetrical. None of that geometry business we have going on with our side profile. The battles continue, we must find our siblings. For if our quest fails, should we die on our journey, then they must take Globen Waldemann's place. Nozhan is a lost cause after all. You, you, you can't fix that. He is truly lost. God, just shower, brother. We lose more arrows. A guy throws a potato wedge at our face. But then Farmer Brown's retinue of angry peasants gets stuck in. Globen Waldemann, the warlord. The warlord Waldemann. Look, <laughs> look how happy he is. Fresh on a battle high, we strip down naked that our dad bod strike fear in the eyes of our mortal enemies. We are on a quest for love, and we shall find it. You cannot stop me. We find a log. It says it's a chair, but I can't sit on it. It turns out we can be stopped after all. We are totally demoralized. Bannerlord works in mysterious ways. Enraged that we cannot sit, we make quick work of the bandits. Their target practice, really. For though our ego is mortally wounded by the log we couldn't sit on, we march onward. Our siblings need us. And if we can't find them, well, then how will we find a woman willing to uncurse these genetics? We continue on throughout the camp. Though some skirmishes go better than others, our battle with the bandit leader who has our siblings goes smoothly. You see, we are a manlet. Too small for burly men to defeat. We overcome our foes with speed and precision. And elevation. Though our arms are skinny and frail, our balls are too strong. And our will is like steel. You can't defeat a man like this. A man not only in bloodlust, but also regular lust. For someone he hasn't even met yet. It's the Globen Waldemann way to be this perplexing. Our brother being a proper bin chicken picks up some shit from the ground and gives it to us. God, he is repulsive. Were it not for the significant deformities akin to our own, we'd think he were adopted. Alas, our similarities run deep, unfortunately. Anyways, it turns out our siblings were not in the bandit camp, but we split up and decide on a name for our clan. Ballman. Glauben Waldemann Ballman. Our insignia. A blank black flag with nothing but a singular egg to symbolize that which shall be fertilized, and hopefully from which a child will be born with genetics less cursed. But how cursed is it really if the bowl cut is by choice? How dare you think this? Everyone knows you can't court a lady without funds, so we accept a quest to take a herd of farm animals to Amitadis, a large city nearby. The thought of going to a large town is exciting to me. What fair maidens await? Before we leave though, we remove all of our clothing and put on a hood. If women are going to swoon for anything, it's going to be our dad bod. And we have to hide our face, because it's very similar to Nozhon's, and Nozhon is disgusting. We're attacked by bandits on the road. This is fine after all. We've proven our strength already. My troops are defeated in mere moments, leaving only Globen Waldemann to do what he does best. Solo. He has lived his whole life solo. No partner, no friends, just Nozhon and his bow. We're victorious. But our celebrations are cut short when another bandit group attacks. I, I'm feeling targeted. Our aim is good, but we take another potato wedge to the face. We dispatch the spud bandits, but suffer great losses. Our singular surviving peasant celebrates with his farming implement in hand. I guess you could say he reaps his rewards. Death is his harvest. He sows the seeds of destruction. He relishes in his opponent's grain and suffering. Okay, okay. I think that's enough. By contrast, Globin is wondering what this is all for. Is this all worth it? He is traumatized by these weaponized spuds he keeps taking to the face. We don't get much downtime. 19 bandits? Clearly moved by the occasion, I tell my on-foot troops to dismount the horses that they do not have. And that unparalleled aim we had earlier? It's totally left us. As the bandits club us to death, I conclude that the many past victories we had against the bandits have made us soft. But we are too slippery for them. And we beeline it to Amitadis. Obviously all of our farm animals are taken, but we manage to stumble our scantily clad body through to the tavern. And see the very first potential partner in the game so far. Yes, milady, a plate of olives, please. 
Let me let me just check. Yeah, yep, she's the one. We wait forever and realize the olives are never going to come. She's ghosting us from like 15 feet away. This is truly unbelievable. Is it? Is it my body? Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Um, and share the video with some friends, that really, really helps me. Um, to those of you who have been around for a while, uh, I just want to say thank you very much for all your comments. Uh, they're the brightest part of the day for me personally. So, so yeah, it's a fantastic feeling. Thank you all. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time. See ya.